being on water is my happy place. Sailing, paddle boarding, down at the beach, down by a river, near a canal. I've always come back to the water. It's really, really important to me. So when I go and visit the canals, there's some elements of it where you're just completely in awe of what you've got. The Forth and Clyde Canal was the world's first sea-to-sea -sea canal. So you look at the vision of the people who were creating this. No roads, no railway lines. So when it opened in 1790, it was almost the internet of its time. It was high-speed travel. It underpinned the development of the city of Glasgow. But by the 1960s, the canals effectively were considered to be redundant and, and of no purpose for anyone. They became contaminated, they became abused, they became places that people considered to be unsafe. You know, the canal was dirty and covered in the algae and, you know, it wouldn't be somewhere safe. I remember talking to a friend and she was saying that her cooker had broke and she had no option but to chuck it in the canal as if that, that was what you've done. It was just a resting place for junk. Ensuring that they have a purpose in the 21st century is key. They have to be valued by society, by people, by communities. Uh, otherwise, people turn their backs on them. Hi, people. All right. So the aim of the project, the Smart Canal, is to repurpose the canals and make them support 21st century society. Autodesk is a company that provides um, technology software to a whole range of industries. I think what makes the Smart Canal smart is that it's using a whole range of technology that's put in place to monitor it on an hourly basis. So it's combining the real-time data as well as forecast data to be able to give that view of what's happening now but what will happen in the future too. One of the most critical components of the entire system is the software that's been provided and created by Autodesk that's allowed us to create the digital twin. So we have a real canal that's 230 years old represented in a digital twin model. Digital Twin software is the digital replica of the real world. The Digital Twin uses the live data from sensors in the canal as well as forecast data to see when there's going to be flooding. It then is able to operate the sluice gates. So along the canal we've built three sluice gates and so we can open those up and the water then leaves the canal. So using technology to make the canal be ready for the rainfall, taking the water out of the canal before it rains create the capacity. The approach of dynamically managing a canal for surface water management is the first time anybody's done this in Europe. Accessing the data remotely is brilliant, especially, I mean, as an engineer, being able to look at a digital representation of the canal, understand exactly what's going on at a certain point in time, is really invaluable to us. Without that software, the project just couldn't exist. We've changed the canal, repurposed it, to support the development and regeneration of North Glasgow. Prior to the project, if it had rained, the water would have had nowhere to go and the area would have flooded. Now, because of the Smart Canal, that's able to drain efficiently to utilise the storage that's created in the canal. So this has meant that the area is now free from flood risk. The scheme has unlocked the potential of all that development of 3,000 new homes by utilising the canal and repurposing it. Because we've not had to go and construct the alternative traditional engineered drainage solution, we've effectively saved 5,000 tonnes of capital carbon. Or even better, when we start seeing the development of areas like the Claypitz Nature Reserve, where the local community are, are taking ownership of it. Right in the heart of Glasgow, five minutes to the city centre, but when you're here, you know, you really could be anywhere. As a volunteer at the Claypitz, we do litter picking which is more of a walk sometimes because, you know, we're very enthusiastic picker-upperers. The whole thing makes me feel proud. It makes me feel as if now I'm part of a community. People are proud of what, the place and the area, and so we're, we're thankful for that. For me, I only actually have to walk along the canal and go up to where the development's taking place and seeing houses being built. And there are people now living in those houses, so the community is starting to grow as a result of this project. I think it's a great thing to be a part of and we hope that because of that um, and the enthusiasm and the kind of interest that it's got uh, that it will help more people see how this can be applicable to them um, wherever they are in the world. The climate is changing and the world has got some big problems coming at us and I think everybody's starting to really wake up and realise that. 
And this project demonstrates that the solutions are out there. The technologies are there. It's almost like we've developed a proof of concept. We've justified the canal's existence and its purpose in the 21st century. So you start to think of water as being somewhere that you can enjoy. It's a haven for wildlife, a haven for people. 